Hey guys, this week on Awesome Cast, we try to catch them all as Google and Nintendo seem to have a little bit of synergy. Uh, we go back to the future, a new way from Think Geek, and we announce a new sponsor here on the Sawyer Chart Media Network. Stay tuned, Awesome Cast. Find yourself in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh? Check out the official pizza of this show, Slice on Broadway, sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to. Check them out at sliceonbroadway.com and tell them this show sent you. Guys, it's the Awesome Cast 192 live here from Pittsburgh, PA. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter, MikeSorg.com. First purveyor over at the SorgatronMedia.com network. Ready to talk tech, talk geek, get awesome with me. Uh, joining me from the Bronx, New York is Mad Mike. Often joining me on the movie Minute and the Wrestling Mayhem show at Mad Mike 483. How you doing, sir? I'm doing fantastic, Sorgatron. Awesome. And also joining us from Pittsburgh, PA, somewhere. I just He's just home from a nice walk. A great little walk, sir, right? As, uh, That's true. A lovely little walk. It's 70-something degrees here in Pittsburgh today, and uh, tomorrow it's going to snow. Oh, my. Wait, was it for real? No, just probably. Oh, just, just, just like it feels like it, right? Uh, based off of the history of weather that we've been having lately, yes. Awesome. This feels like Mother Nature's April Fool's joke. Kind of does. Kind of does. And of course, hey, shout outs to. Uh, um, Hold on a second. Uh, real quick, sir. Yes. Uh, you didn't actually say my name. Oh, yeah. Hey, this is Will. Hi, Will. This is Will Rutherford at DJ Lunchbox, also joining me from the Wrestling Mayhem show. Sorry about Hi, that. Everybody. You kind of had me distracted before this show. For, for a second, I, I kind of wanted to wait until the end of the show and then have you introduce <laughs> me, but. And it was, well, I was Will Rutherford. Yeah, exactly. Um, but no, I want to give, uh, first of all, we got to mention, um, um, often accompanying me on the couch is Chilla, John Chilla. Uh, uh, him and, well, not him, but his, his lovely wife, Carla, actually had a baby this past week. Um, yeah. Of which I don't have the details on hand of the size, shape, and form of this baby, unfortunately. But there is a baby. I've seen it on it's Facebook. A, it's a boy. It's a boy. I'm pretty sure I could guess the form. I'm pretty sure it's the name is like Christopher Stark something. That's a great name. That's, yeah, yeah, I, 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 I know, I know, I got Stark. the Stark part. Sure. So great. So, so um, he's going to have his kid's name on, forever emblazoned on his laptop, if you notice from the video version of the show. Uh, so, no, good luck to him. He's uh, obviously um, we're going to let him sleep or not sleep or whatever happens two or three days into having a baby um and uh we'll have them next week and i'm sure we're gonna have a lot of tech baby products from him mm -hmm. in the future i can't wait till he automates that part of his life the eye breast pump coming soon i'm sure i'm sure wait what's that oh wait, wait missy missy has has numbers for us saturday march 29th Weighing in at seven pounds, ten ounces 20 inches long oh, I don't, okay do that again I, I don't think i had to write mic up do, do it in your wrestling announcer voice <laughs> You, you didn't. It was use your microphone voice. Yes. I am using my microphone. Do you want I me didn't know I didn't have it on. Yeah, do, do you want me to eat my microphone? Like, oh, it's Sork's fault. All right. Um, the, they had their baby uh, Saturday, March 29th at 9.15. Christopher Stark Chichilla was born weighing in at 7 pounds, 10 ounces, and 20 inches long. Awesome. Awesome. I'll cut up that part where I didn't know what I was talking about. <laughs> Great. We'll, we'll fix it in post. Sorry. Exactly. We'll fix it in post. So uh, anyway, so a lot of news happened, but this is the awesome cast. We're here Tuesdays live at 6.30 p.m. Eastern on live.sogatronmedia.com, of course, and uh, where you can join us and, and, and chat with us and tell us your awesome things of the week. You can also let us know um, stuff that you saw awesome through the week, so, you know, your awesome thing of the week, all that kind of stuff, and your comments on the stuff that we're talking about over um, – uh, awesome cast on Twitter, awesome cast at sorgatronmedia.com, on Facebook, on Google Plus. Uh, Shilla keeps messaging me and is ruining the show. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Sorry, mute your stuff. I, I, mute I can't stuff. because you're. Hold on. Hold on. We're, we'll, we're work on muting all the computers individually here. Uh, There's, just use. You can turn off. 
The mixer. Use the mixer. <laughs> no, but it's coming up in front of your face is the problem. Um, Wait, don't go put chili. He's sending links to a live streaming can't baby monitor. You. Yes. Uh, we're it, also available on iTunes, here. Roku, Blip TV, YouTube, Stitcher, Spreaker as well um, in audio and video forms, however you would like to view or listen to us on the go on your TV with your little baby watching. And that happens. I've been hearing about that a lot lately. It happens. So let, learn, let your kids learn about the world via AwesomeCast. They might want to start next episode. Um, so with that, <laughs> let's start with their awesome things of the week. There, guys, there is a lot of news that happened today. There's a lot of stuff going on. A lot of stuff. Crazy. A There's ton so of stuff. News, hey, uh, uh, Mike, or yeah, Mike, this was yours. Uh, let's start with your news item. And we do have an email, uh, somebody submitting one. So uh, first, Mike, something really cool happened here. Uh, and, and, and I'm very excited by the potential of synergy going on uh, with, with this news item. Sorg, I don't mean to alarm you, but I may have a job at Google coming up. Oh, really? Yes. Um, you see, Google, in its infinite wisdom, has spread Pokemon across the world. And if you find all 150 Pokemon, like I have... There they are, right there! Right there, 150. Um, I, I'm waiting by the phone. They, they said, as long as you find 150 Pokemon, we will bring you to San Francisco. And there is a second task that is also Pokemon related. And if you win that task, you will be Google's new Pokemon master. Awesome. So, so this, fingers this, crossed. So the, fingers crossed. So this has been a, uh, uh, with the Google Maps app, you can go in and uh, you can find your Pokemons. Uh, all over the place. I found a Jigglypuff in Heinz Field. Thanks to I think Bobby helped me with that. Um, it, it, all over the place. Um, I, I, I haven't tried. I, I was trying on Android. I don't know. This is, is this working on iOS as well? Is that what you have there? Yeah, yes. it works. It works both on iOS and Android. Yeah, iOS and Android. So it's, it's on the mobile app specifically, right? So, yeah, it's yeah. not on the. Uh, you can't go through the website. Okay. So it, and it's it's been a lot of fun. I know a lot of you guys. A lot of I, I know a lot of guys here on this network. You know, we've been talking about the Pokemon stuff uh, lately over on Boss Battle. I've been kind of jumping in a little bit to Pokemon Yellow for the first time in my life. Uh, so that's been kind of fun. Uh, so I, I mean, this is like. A really cool real worldy thing. And I'm really excited about so is this what Nintendo meant by we're not gonna put our games on mobile, but we're gonna have mobile things happening? And secondarily, is Google gonna buy Nintendo? Pokemon Challenge and Google Maps while driving Well, it depends on what country the deal takes place because Nintendo might be trying to buy Google. But I think true. Sorg, I think we're burying the lead here. Okay. Uh, we've always known that there are real live Pokemon in the world. I mean, the Pokemon video games, it's just like, it's like Cabela's Big Buck Hunter. You know what I mean? It's just, a, it's just a hunting sim. We've known that Pokemon are real, just nobody's been able to really find them up until this point. And who better than Google to finally pinpoint where these little critters are at? Mm -hmm. I, the only thing I'm a little worried about, um, I hope Google hasn't implanted them with some type of GPS tracking device because the last thing we need is for PETA to get involved. And we know, and we know this isn't entirely perfect. I know um, at, at one point I found all the Pokemons in one place. You can see this on my Twitter stream here. Um, so I'm kind of worried about the hurting of the Pokemon at this point. Sorg, I believe that was their mixer. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, it, 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 it didn't last long, but that was their mixer. Okay. Okay. They're quick. They're I mean, quick. Yeah. They're very quick little creatures. I gotta tell you. I, you know, I'm impressed. Um, at MIT, they have apparently a Rotom in their technology department. I wonder if they're working on a source of clean energy using Pokemon. Hopefully, I mean, this opens up so many new avenues of uh, of technology that we can take advantage of. I mean. I, like like you said, I mean, there's there's um, uh, what sort of they, you want to take care of the animals. I mean, that's that's something to be considered. But imagine how much energy uh, you know a Pikachu or even a Raichu could uh, could provide for a small town or even a city. 
Um, and I want to point out, uh, Mike, you do have a little bit of competition because uh, Brother Sorg uh, did also catch uh, Mew. I'm I'm upset with him. And, uh, I need to know where he did this. If there's more than one, because as we all know, Mew is a very rare Pokemon. I don't know if there is more than one of them in the world. Mm -hmm. and if he has the only one, I think we, we need to find a Ditto immediately and just start breeding more Mew. Exactly, exactly. But that's not all. It, uh, it wasn't just all Pokemon-related news today. Uh, we well, have... I do. Uh, one last thing with Pokemon sure. Front Sword. I wanted, to, uh, I wanted to get out ahead of this. We're going to talk about it later on the show. But um, there was, uh, we've got a new partnership. We were going to announce it on the Wrestling Mayhem Show. But we might as, well, uh, might as well, since I'm on the Sword Show Network already, we might as well announce it. I have finally closed the deal um, with uh, Team Rocket Industries. Okay. And uh, we are going to be, uh, uh, you know, partnering with them for the foreseeable future. Uh, and the future looks bright because it's lit with Pokemon. Awesome. Well, I mean, of course, uh, because as we all know, Team Rocket's motto is to protect the world from devastation, to unite all peoples within the Mayhem Nation, to denounce the evils of truth and love, and to extend our reach to the stars above because we are the first ever Galacticast. Exactly. Exactly. Very excited about things popping here at Sorgatron Media. Um, and now, uh, LB, I think uh, you have uh, the next one. That is uh, true, Sorg. Uh, let me ask you folks a question. Uh, when out in the wild at your job or uh, you know riding a train or whatever whatever you're doing, um, and you want to you want to get your wrestling mayhem show fixed, but oh no, I've lost my smartphone somewhere. Oh, or, or, you know what? Even you just went that want that authentic Roku experience. Well, now you can have it. All new, announced today, uh, is the Roku Watch. Uh, the Roku Watch. This thing is incredible, and I can't believe that we didn't hear rumors about this sooner. Um, it's 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 really uh, interesting. It's a it's a very small but uh, very clean. I, I think it's one of the what is it? Oh, OMLED screens mm -hmm. uh it's a mm -hmm. one and a half by one inch screen so it's, it's small but this is a watch keep in mind um it comes with a built-in hd tv antenna so you can watch uh, you can watch your baseball games on the go check the local news all of that stuff um it does have the full-size roku remote which is larger than the watch itself uh luckily for you though uh it does come with a belt clip um customizable strap you know you have purple, the classic classic purple Roku uh, color. Uh, you can go uh, red if you're nasty. Um, and uh, also, of course, a 40-inch uh, power cord. It is the next big thing in streaming media. It is actually, it, it, it's going to be incredible, and it's uh, interactive. Um, I, not I actually, um, I've, just... I've, I've, I've ordered it already. It's, I'm picking it up this weekend. I'm actually going to watch the Game of Thrones premiere while WrestleMania is on. Nice. Nice. That's, uh, that's the ultimate nice. in multitasking right there. Yeah. I love I, it. It's not actually available until April 31st, though. So uh, you probably got the Samsung model, which is going to for a turn. Oh, yeah. You know that's that has to be. I knew I knew it was a watch. I could watch HBO Go on it. So I like this though. Um, they're, they're, they're also uh, you know body interaction. Is, we talk about a lot on the show uh, that that calculated you know a bit. I mean, you know, my wife has a has a Fitbit and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so this is like the opposite of a Fitbit. It is kind of yeah because uh, they're going to track your track your body's inactivity and grant you rewards uh, when you hit impressive milestones. Ten inactive hours equals one large piece will automatically be delivered to your home. Uh, Presumably for free, maybe they'll just charge you credit I, Yeah, I think it would just be like, you, you. it has to be an opt-in, right? Be like, of mm -hmm. course I want pizza after 10 hours. I've been watching this Archer Marathon, and I'm hungry. Uh, 25 inactive hour, hours, We uh, after we confirm you're still healthy, uh, we'll send Jean-Claude Van Damme to watch Bloodsport or Double Impact with you. Uh, I think worth the price now, of admission alone. I wonder if for a nominal fee, if you can include Street Fighter in that. Mm, do you really uh, want to? Do you really want to? I think it's I think it's exciting because uh, they mentioned uh, uh, confirm that you're still healthy, which hints at uh, uh, maybe a heart monitor upgrade somewhere in the near future. Good. Good. Hey, Nintendo's doing it in case you're playing Mario for too long. Nintendo's why not? Nintendo's doing it. Why the new uh, the new um, 
Samsung, was it the S5 that's coming out? It's going to have our monitor. Mm -hmm. um, so my awesome... Yeah, and my Nintendo Wii U constantly asks me all the time, like, hey, don't you want to go outside? Yeah. I, I just hit A, say no, and keep playing Mario. Mm -hmm. uh, now, LB, I know you like cooking programs. I do. I do enjoy cooking programs. Alvin Brown is a personal hero. Exactly. Well, I think you're going to have a new personal hero. Uh, there's uh, some new spin-offs going to come exclusively to Hulu. You know, they've been expanding a lot, uh, but really cool to see them doing these kind of exclusive deals. Uh, so in this case, they're going to have a new one called Cooking with Hannibal. It's a little bit different theme to this, um, but uh, I, I think I think this might this could be a replacement for your Alton Brown here. I don't know. I don't really trust Germans. Oh, okay. okay. Wait, is this Hannibal Burris? From from um, Broad City or is it... I no no I don't think I don't think that's accurate actually no okay no, okay no, I don't mm -hmm. think so um, so and they also have they all, and they also have um, a, a, a looks like a spinoff to Brooklyn Nine 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 which that's really quick because it is in its first season uh, called mm -hmm. The Field and uh, just like anything I, we've already established on the movie minute we'll probably watch about anything with Terry Crews in it so um, oh, I think I think we're absolutely that, in for that, that I will be I will be absolutely interested in because I love. Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Mm -hmm. Now, if you combine these two and have a cooking show with Terry, or um, yeah, Terry from uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, I'd watch it all day. What if you I'd have... get that Jean-Claude Van Damme incentive. What about In the Kitchen with Terry and Hannibal? Mm. That, that, sounds, yeah. that sounds delicious and intriguing, Torque. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. What? Are you talking about Hannibal? Cooking, Terry Hannibal, Chris? We just say it's in the kitchen. You kind of have to leave the rest up to your imagination. So, um, so that'd be one episode. I didn't say it was going to be a long series. So, um, well, I mean, was True Detective a long series? No. That's true. That's true. I think there's a market for these. It was eight episodes. Kind of I mean, canned, you can have the same model. Canned episodes, you know. Um, you could have a new, a new special guest with Hannibal each season. Oh, I like that. I like that. I mean, Dexter kind of does that. Yeah. Kind of the same concept. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, we also have something from ThinkGeek. They always have uh, uh, great products coming out uh, for some reason around this time of year. Uh, uh, tell me about this one. Who? Uh, whoever put sorry. in the ThinkGeek <laughs> thing. Well, uh, they have taken, they have put, uh, dipped their hands into science fiction and pulled out the impossible and made it real, uh, sort of. It is a flux capacitor. You can buy a flux capacitor, but instead of time travel, I imagine they couldn't get the, uh, 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 the plutonium to fuel it. Uh, it's a car charger. Well, it's, it's not, it's not your, available uh, in your everyday convenience store. Right. You, uh, you plug it in to your car, and then plug whatever you want into it, and uh, it's like your gadgets travel back in time. To a time when they were fully charged. Nice. Nice. So you can check that out at thinkgeek.com. Uh, only 40 bucks, I think, for a uh, almost time travel device. Uh, that's well worth it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it even has little lights to show when the flux capacitor is fluxing. Awesome. That's, right. that's, that's the power of love. I mean, this is way better than that, that fake hoverboard video a few weeks ago. Uh, I, I know you know, Sorg... Oh, can we can we get off on? I hate when the internet does things like that and clearly just promotes a product that they know isn't real. Like I, 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 I mean, Funny or Die, sure they do a lot of interesting comedy, but that you know that 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 broke a lot of hearts. It did. It did. Like it was playing on a lot of people's emotions, and 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 catching people off guard at a time and in a news cycle, um, you know where. Where you know people are just gonna want to believe, you know. I mean, I, I don't think that's fair to a lot of people. And, and they went out of their way for it. That was that was really weird. How much they did uh, that they got Christopher Lloyd, they got Tony Hawk. So there was so much like validating in this thing, right? Um, it, it, I don't know. I don't know. I I think it's really sad when 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 companies do something like that. So uh, we're trying to get uh, LB here. Uh, back. Wow, that is an interesting video going on there. <laughs> uh, Hangout is having fun today. Are you still with me, Mike? Or I'm all alone. I could all be alone right now. This is kind of scary. 
kind of scary. Right here. There's Missy right here. I'm with sitting me. right here in front of you. you. Obviously, you're not alone. I'm alone on the internet, though. Well, you didn't give me a camera. I know, because I expected two people to be there and hang out that just went away. Man, wait, internet. did they get the flux capacitor working? They must have everybody. Wait. Hold on. We got one coming back. Are you sure? I think we got one coming back. Are, are, are you sure? I'm waiting for it. I have to re-invite people, apparently. Um, uh, that's okay. We'll fix it in post. <laughs> that's like your new catchphrase. Yeah, you know. It kind of is for a video professional in the long run. So, I mean, it's kind of a ongoing concept. There we go. LB, did you just flash two minutes into the future? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> right. That could be what happened. You got your flux capacitor working. Wow, mm -hmm. that was fun. All right, we're going to try to get uh, Mad Mike back in here. We're going to try, we're going to, try to get oh. Mad Mike. Mad Mike back in here. In the meantime, LB, uh, I believe you've had this slice on Broadway, correct? No. Oh, no. You're not the one that's saying that. But we we have a great sponsor. I'm sorry. I should have lied. As you, 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 <laughs> I should have lied. Let me tell you about slice on Broadway. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll fix it in post. The no. finest pizza in all of Pittsburgh is not downtown. It's not on the south side. It's not on the strip. No, no. It's in the South Hills at a little place called Slice on Broadway. The best. The best pizza anywhere ever. So much so that they won the 200, 200, 2012 Best Pizza in Pittsburgh WPXI Contest. And you can help them win again. Go to bit.ly slash slice WPXI and help them win. Nominate them. You can check them out at sliceonbroadway.com. You can also head over to wrestlingmayhemshow.com where all this information is yes, available. Yes. And folks, if you're ever in the Pittsburgh area, seriously, and of course seriously, trust Papa Lunchbox in his way too big tongue. Go over to Slice on Broadway. And tell them Lunchbox sent you. They won't know what it means, but they'll probably be happy because you're going to pay them for food. I, and, of course, you're probably going to need that flux capacitor uh, to go do that because um, they uh, that, that ended yesterday, actually. Okay. All right. Well, so, I didn't know that. So that's something that I didn't delete from the doc, which we're going to do now. <laughs> so we're not doing that again. So that's going to happen. All the other things that I said are still true. They're still yes. delicious and still there. Of course. So, all right, we got plenty more news to talk about. LB, I believe these couple items in here are yours. Am I correct in that? Yeah, yeah. All right, Let's kick things off properly with uh, the uh, the wonderful ComedyCentral.com. They launched an app today uh, on iOS where they where users can watch full episodes of uh of their most popular shows the day after they air so if you want to watch at midnight it's on the app you want to watch colbert report daily show they're on the app too review starring uh andy daly one of the best shows on television right now you can watch it the day after it airs i'll be watching that you can watch Kroll show when it comes back the best shows on tv are uh right now are on comedycentral.com you can watch it with this app you can actually watch full seasons but you need uh, an actual like cable subscription to make that happen. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> Did you hang up on me again? No, 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 no. I, I was I was working on <laughs> I was working on something here. So. <laughs> um, it's, free. it's totally free. I downloaded it today, but I was at work, so I couldn't watch anything yet. Um, but uh, you absolutely bet that I will be uh, checking that out uh, during the break. Awesome. Awesome. All right, I think we do have Mad Mike. I don't know what's going to look like. There he is. And I got to turn him up. There he I is. Didn't see it when I was complaining about it. <laughs> what's that? The internet. I got Sorg. I got a message on my screen from the internet that said it was angry. I was complaining about when it falsely advertised products that we want to see. Oh, I see. I see. Uh, I don't. I've, that's never happened to me before. I think I need to bring my laptop in to 
Best Buy to have the Geek Squad look at it, but I don't know. It was very frightening, and I thought Johnny Mnemonic was going to leap out and strangle me. Hey, if anybody can help you, it's the Geek Squad. Of course. <laughs> Check exactly. them out at geeksquad.com. Right? Right, guys? Right. It's right. a tech podcast. That makes sense. Yes. It makes sense. Um, anyways. Also, I want to see if, uh, if Chachi's listening and he has an aneurysm. <laughs> he can't answer you in the chat because he's bleeding from the ears. Um, so, we have a few more things. Um, um, uh, one of you guys posted in here about a Twitter helmet. Uh, yeah, that was that was me. Yeah. Um, it, it, it looks interesting. They, they didn't announce too much about it. It's coming out in mid-September for about 140 bucks, And it is supposed to be... It's a helmet that's an impact-resistant oleophobic tree of glass which means like you can you know it's gonna be safe and everything you're not gonna you know bump into anyone but you tweet through a simple pecking head motion similar to the wink that you have with google glass okay okay and it looks like it's gonna have like a wi-fi and signal booster in the helmet um a carbon fiber chin strap and optional waffle form factor with microphone so it's gonna be all voice activated tweets and I'm pretty excited for it. You know, I mean, let, let's be honest. With Google Glass, all I end up doing is reading Twitter. So why don't we just make it, a, a, but yet make it safe? And Fair plus, way. I think they're just trying to like jump, like jump in before Facebook, you know, unleashes the Oculus Rift. That's so. right. That's right. I think there's kind of a race to the top here when it comes to these things. Mm -hmm. so. I mean, every everyone come 2015, everyone is going to be that kid in the helmet. Every single one of us, we're all going to have our social media. We're going to be playing Angry Birds by nodding our head back and forth. Like, it's going to be all over the place. Awesome. Awesome. Um, let's see what else we got here. Um, of course, uh, there's so much stuff going on today. Uh, well, Sorg, I forgot to mention in the movie, man, you heard about Fox and Marvel, right? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, I did hear about that. Yeah, apparently um, Fox is finally releasing their Marvel franchises, which are the X-Men uh, and the Fantastic Four, uh, for $1.8 billion, plus royalties. you got to include the royalties in there, because you know Marvel is going to make a mint off of this. But they're going back to Marvel, and rumor has it that the new untitled film that Fox was planning, they're now going to make it Civil War. Nice. That That's the rumor. And you always wondered about that because they did have Quicksilver across both uh, both universes in these upcoming movies. I, I wouldn't be surprised if now, like, something that Quicksilver... Like, maybe they can do a recut or add a scene at the end, but, like, something that Quicksilver does helps to form Ultron. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They could do it easily. Like, it, it wouldn't take much. Certainly. Certainly. Um, excellent. So, uh, is there anything else we want to touch on here, guys? that you saw in the news today um uh yes yes actually there is uh, one other news uh, verizon announced today um they're releasing something called a quantum tv dvr uh and it, it's basically like a like a media server and it's um it can record up to 12 channels at once jeez wow yeah, it's bonkers so, it's bonkers you know it is, uh, it is legit this, this goes back to my point. We are so close to where the prophets who made Back to the Future saw we would be in 2015. We are so close, but those funny or die people that, you know, tease us with the hoverboard. We're even getting Power Lace's shoes, Sorg. It's the future. I can believe that. We're a year away. There's going to be a lot going on. There, um, there, is a, there is a baseball team in Miami, Sorg. Oh, there is. Wait, have the Cubs been winning yet? No, but neither are, neither is the team of Miami, so I'm predicting Cinderella seasons. Like, next season, the Miami Marlins are just going to take over the Rays mm -hmm. because no one goes to that stadium anyway. So they'll be in the opposite divisions, and 2015 put some money on the Cubbies. Bank on it. Awesome. We did get an email this week, guys. Uh, Alex Cars says... Um, well, oh, oh, and, and I remember, <laughs> while I'm looking at this, a great new feature to uh, Gmail. Um, they have selfies now. So if you go, oh, I heard about this. Yeah, yeah. It, I heard they're about called this. them shelfies, actually. Um, I guess they're shared selfies. Uh, and and if, so you see my face behind the email. 
kind of. Um, oh, that was, oh, I was thinking about I It's kind of like a game. As you, as you go through your emails and delete emails, you see more of your face or the other people's face. There was one that was a guy and a tiger. That was kind of revealing. Um, and the tiger was like hidden behind my mail, you know? Uh, yeah, that, was, that was Katy Perry. That was Katy Perry? That wasn't a guy. Yeah, I saw that too. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, so I should feel better about that weird feeling I had. Anyways, Alex Carr's emails. Uh, he says, I bought this today. I'm so glad I have my finger on the pulse of technology. That's right. The future is here. The future is now. The future is Laserdisc. The quality is so much better than what I've been watching before. Uh, just let this video from Devo show you the way of the future. I hope you get on the bandwagon because it's vital. Enjoy and happy April 1st. Uh, Sorg, um, you know what I recently tried this week? What's that? I tried, I tried syncing up the laser disc of Wizard of Oz and the cassette tape of The Wall. It mm -hmm. syncs up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They, they even have like a very jarring moment where you have to flip the tape. Awesome. I don't, want, I don't want to spoil for when it is because when it hits, it's gonna blow your mind. But I'm telling you. Excellent, excellent. So I think at that point, I think that's about everything we have for today, guys, right? Mm -hmm. All right. I think so. So, uh, of course, you can join us here Tuesdays at 7, or I'm sorry, 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time at SorgatronMedia.com or AwesomeCast.com. we got links right there at the top for you to join us in the chat room. Let us know what you think about the stories of the week and all that stuff. Um, and, of course, you can uh, 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 find us on Twitter at AwesomeCast, uh, at AwesomeCast on uh, Facebook and Google+. Plus. Email us at on AwesomeCast at SorgatronMedia.com on iTunes, Roku, Blip TV. YouTube, Spreaker, all that kinds of stuff, um, and and uh, and thanks again, of course, to uh, Mike Allen, who's at Mike Allen PR, uh, who's been helping with notes and tweets all night long uh, through most of our shows here on uh, Sorgatron Media on Podcast Day. Uh, thanks, of course, LB. Mad Mike at Mad Mike 483 at DJ Lunchbox. If you want to check them out on Twitter, and of course, uh, great hosts with me on the Wrestling Mayhem Show series of series of podcasts at this point, guys. <laughs> and that's going to happen a little bit later, so you need to stick. Around. Exactly. So until then, um, thanks to our awesome chat room. You've been our awesome audience. Have an awesome April Fools. We're